Hello guys, my name is Kimberly and I'm going to show you something today. Um, sorry, I'm just moving my chair. I'm going to show you how to work a PSB7 spirit box. So this is what... I wish there was a tutorial when I first started doing using this. But this is our PSB7 spirit box. It comes like... You know, like in a little box, and you'll have this kind of like this when you start. And I want to have like, I wish like there was a tutorial when I started how to use this, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to use one of these uh, spirit boxes. Um, this one's a PSB7, and um. So, you probably get one from Amazon or, or eBay or wherever, and it usually comes with one of these speakers. I don't recommend using these speakers, I guess, that come with it, because it's hard to hear the voices that come through the spirit box. So, I recommend using, like, a bigger speaker or even an amp, but, um... If you do have this and that's the only thing you can afford at the time, just use this in a quiet room where it is quiet. Um, yeah, and what, um, what was tricky at the start of this, um, when I didn't have all this other stuff, is just trying to figure out how the speaker <laughs> even works because um, I got it with the speaker and... I was confused about it because nobody really explained anything, you know, when I bought it, like how this actually works, the speaker, but I'm going to show you um, one thing real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's an on and off, it shows you on this side and it was confusing at first because it's actually underneath here and there's a switch, that's how you know it. You just slide the switch to on and off. I was kind of confused when I first got this. But, um, if this is what you have, you want to use it in a quiet room. And also, I usually, I used to use, like, the headphone part, this part. But I should use this part, because I figure that part is actually more louder, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, it says spout on there. When you get it, it has all these different buttons too, and we'll go over that in this video. But first, when you're using this for the first time, make sure that the antenna is extended all the way. Because this will help get the, um, what is it called? The radio bits and stuff. Usually people say the antenna, like, it doesn't help with the session, but it really does. If you're watching like um, a video on YouTube from Hub Paranormal, I support him in his work um, because he kind of taught me how to do this in a way by just watching his videos. He never spoke to me, but he, by watching his videos, it explained quite a bit over the years of how to work with a PSP7 or any spirit box that I have. I have multiple spirit boxes. I'll, I'll explain, I'll show you one of them, actually. This one, I have this one from, it's called the S-Box. And it's from that, um, I forget what it's called, um, Ghost Stop website, yes. This is from Ghost Stop. But if you're starting out, you want to buy something, I guess, kind of like this, I would say. But either one works well. But, um, yeah, so, I'm just trying to adjust my chair. <laughs> so, we got one of these extended, the antenna's extended on it, like it's pointing up and out of the device. That's what you want to start with. And then, take a look at the different buttons on this device. I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to check if you guys can see this really well. But... Um, when you're working, this is the power button right here, the on and off switch. See that? 
and there this is AM and FM, so you can switch between AM and FM. I really, I think uh, Hot Paranormal Study like FM better, but it really doesn't matter what you use if you do AM or FM. Um, the ghost will use anything to speak, you know, like any audio. So it could be AM or FM, whatever you get and receive is good. Um, then we got these two switches here, a volume up and a volume down. Here, so this is up, down, and we got sweep forward and sleep in reverse. I figured that if you're starting out with this device, you really want to sweep in reverse. The reason for that is because it's easier to tell if a spirit is talking, if it's in like forward speech, like they'll forward the speech. Kind of like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to give an example. If it's in reverse that you're using the device, it's really easy to use when it's in reverse because you can tell that it's saying, if it's either saying gibberish or a word, you can know that the spirit is this person saying the word. But the gibberish is just the radio bits. So, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but... I prefer it in reverse when you first start because forward speech, if you're putting the sweep rate in forward, I believe, then the voices will just, the radio and the voices will be like everything's talking to you at once. Like um, the radio will come through and the ghost and you'll just get confused which one is speaking. That's why I do reverse sweep because um, if it's gibberish, I know it's not, and it's the radio, and if it's like, a, you know, like if they're talking to me, then I know it's a ghost. Um, it's, that's why I prefer reverse sweep, um, personally. Sweep rate, we'll get into that, and there's also a backlight. I guess backlight just makes this light up, the screen, I think. I actually never tried that button, so let's just try it right now. I'm curious. It'll just probably go off the light. Let me just see what the backlight does. It's sort of static right now. I don't know what it does, backlight. Yeah, I guess it does light it up. That's what I just figured out. But anyway, and then there will be this other thing. The sleep rate. That's the top button over backlight. And that just determines how fast you're sweeping the channels. Oh, let me just show you. See, it's 300, 350, and it just goes 100, 2, 150, 200. It's just how fast you're sweeping the stations. People sometimes prefer to sweep fast or slow. It really doesn't matter. For me, I started out slow, but I kind of like it fast now when it sweeps fast. But, I mean, slow speech is better for the ghost, I think. Because then they could get a few sentences out or a name as, as, um, like if I'm sweeping faster, they'll just say hi, bye, yes, no. I mean, it's kind of difficult for them, I think, but I don't know. I, there's just a lot I still have to learn about this, but I wish there was a video out there in the beginning. I keep saying that, but I wish there was a video in the beginning how to use this device. Not many people said how to use it, only I think Half Paranormal did, but... um. I just wish there was more tutorials, that's why I'm making one today. And we also got, in the back here, you just slide this out to um, put batteries in. It has like a little stand, but mine is kind of hard to get out. And um, this is a speaker in the back of it, if you're using it just by itself. If you don't have this that came with it for me. Then you would listen from this side. 
this side just, I'm not sure what this side, or this, what it, that is for, but this is the speaker. Um, so we got our PSP7, and now we want to use this. How to use one. So if you're using it just the way it is, it'll be very quiet, so I mean, you might want to put it to your ear or something, or maybe a little way from your ear, but... You know, you want to be able to listen in a quiet room, have all electronics off. Well, not all electronics. You, have the, you could have the light on, but make sure that the air conditioning is off or, you know, make the room as quiet as possible. But if you're working with the speaker, you just plug the speaker into, remember to spout. One, this one I think is for a power pack, so you can put it in like um, one of these or a wall outlet or something if you had a if you didn't have the batteries but mine has batteries so putting in it in the spout and then I'll turn it on in a second I'm just gonna adjust everything first for my liking and this is what you do you press power so now it's on you won't hear nothing because this is in here and I also didn't turn it on. So next we would do, um, you know, I guess I'm trying to think if I should do FM, but I'll do FM for the video and I'm going to do a sleep rate of 100 MS. So let me just show you that with the backlight. See? 100 ms and then you're pressing reverse sweep so now the numbers are going backwards the sleeping in reverse and then when you're ready this is the volume too over here so it's already on the highest volume because I prefer it high enough the volume so I could hear it in real time but it's important to record um, that's what Huff says I believe in recording too so we're going to turn on that switch, remember, this is the switch, now it's sweeping in reverse, and now you just have to listen to anything that comes through, or ask questions, that's what I usually do, hi is anyone there, and you'll get your replies, but it takes some time to get used to this, like this I think, <laughs> I prefer to um, unplug the speaker and get like kind of like a couple more gadgets with this. So um, now you could plug in this in the spout again. But now we have, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to switch the thing for you guys. <laughs> but there's... Maybe I could show you a different way. I just gotta set the camera again. <laughs> but this is what you want to buy with the PSP7. There's different gadgets that come with it, but you might want to buy this separately. There's a noise gate um, pedal that you want to get, as well as like this cord to connect that to the noise gate pedal. Also, uh, excuse me, there's also like things like, like this you might need with the cord if this is too small. So you can plug it into the pedal. And then you want to have like an outlet, like a wall outlet or somewhere to plug each of these devices in and power for those devices. We have this. I'm just going to show you each and every um, thing that I bought. We have that to connect to our um, speaker source or amp. Here, hold on. So make sure everything is put in really tight and set up. Make sure the switch is on for the little part where they can, the outlet or whatever. 
and there's basically on amps which is cool is there's like different settings have all the settings off when you start and then just adjust the knobs as you go so even with the pedal you want it to be off and then when you're done using it just turn it off as well if you can I don't know what's happening in my video here but that's okay um so then we're ready pretty much to use this PS3 7 and this is pretty interesting when you have the noise gate pedal um, you can turn that on and off and there will be a light that goes on it and you just adjust as you go with the knob I like to set um, the little thing here the knob here on top to hard or, or you can press soft on that one and yeah there's not a lot I can explain here you just have to experiment with everything so we'll do a little session here and just see what happens. Um, so we got our amp, we just turn that on. You can turn on this next if you want to. And then get that if you wanted to, it's all up to you. You won't hear nothing yet because I have this set, the volume is off. Um, you know, I'm gonna try sweep, oh wait, no, I was clicking the wrong thing. Sweep rate of 200 milliseconds, no, just so, I don't know, maybe we can get a few phrases or words in there, the slower to speed, you know. I'm going to reverse sweep, so you hold the button in to reverse sweep, and then when we're ready, um, everything's plugged in, you can turn on the pedal, and then adjust the knob. You'll hear static, and pretty much you can adjust the knob to lessen the static, um, so you hear the phrases that come through, if there's anything that's around. Right now I'm getting pretty much static. I feel like somebody's trying to come through them. You can adjust to less static, but you want to have enough static where they can use that and manipulate a voice or even like the voices from the radio so you want a little bit like that there you go <laughs> I heard a couple of voices I heard Ke hey Kim right thing hello and that's how you work a PSP7 I know it's like a long tutorial but um I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> so, hello. Hello, guys. You can adjust the slider if you want to hear it in real time. Hello, is anyone there? I notice usually around um, 100, it'll start like talking to me. I guess for some reason, like they get the audio around here right now. Kimberly is here. Thank you. Hi. I don't know if you heard that, but it said that. <laughs> Hello. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>